Today I thought I'd film something a little bit different on the vlog channel. This was actually going to be a main channel video, but I thought like it's going to be about half an hour long probably. So I thought it's best to put it on the vlog channel because then you guys can like watch it whilst in the bath or doing your makeup or something. So it's just like a nice easy video for you guys to watch and I need to upload more on my vlog channel. So that's why it's on here. So thank you very much for clicking on this video if you have. So today I'm gonna be doing my like pack for Santorini um, video, but I wanna kind of do it a little bit less structured than I normally do. Like I, I always like film it on my bed here and have the suitcase in front of me and it's just like, it's very professional and actually like this is the pile of stuff that I have. Like I've just been collating it all together for like the last, I don't know, like three or four days. So I'm probably just gonna whack my suitcase out on the landing and just try and do it like that. Um, I'll give you guys a few little tips and tricks for packing as well. These are obviously tips that I've learned. I haven't like come up with them, I'm not that cool. But I'm very excited to pack for this trip. I feel like I always get so, not unlucky. I mean, it's like, it's 2020, nothing can be expected, but Literally like two days ago they made an announcement that there's seven Greek islands that you have to quarantine when you get back to the UK and Santorini was one of those islands so... Oh, is my sister shot at me? Oh no, she's not, okay. Yeah, so Santorini's one of those islands and then there's like a few different other ones and yeah, so that's a little bit annoying but also like not too bad. I mean I did it with Ibiza so I can do it again and to be honest like my job is just working from home anyway so... I doubt I really want to be going out and obviously Boris has done like the no more than six people rule so I feel like I'm not really going to be missing out on much at all whilst I quarantine so I thought I'd still go on the trip and Tommy's coming with me we're obviously going to be super safe like in Ibiza we followed every single one of the rules we wore the mask and we're going to do that I don't think you have to wear a mask or I'm not sure right now whether you have to wear a mask everywhere in Greece I'm just going to anyway because I just feel safer. Like, I've been wearing my mask around the UK, like, everywhere I'm going. Like, I was in London the other day and I just wore my mask the whole time because I'm just, I'm getting very nervous about it, especially as, like, someone that I knew had coronavirus and I just think, oh, my God, it all feels very real as soon as you know someone that's had it. But without babbling on, I will set up my camera and I'll set up my suitcase and we can get to packing. Okay, so I've actually just set myself up in my mum and dad's dressing room just because I think it's going to be better. There's all people, well I say all people, my sister and her boyfriend are like walking around the landing. So I've put myself here. Um, you probably can't really see how big this pile is here, but it is huge. So I'm going to get started. I feel like I probably have missed stuff, but this is mainly like, this is all the nice stuff. This is the fashion-y pieces. So... The first thing I pack when I do any kind of like summer holiday packing is I pack hats first and I pack things around the hats. But actually, with this one here that I got from ASOS, it actually has like a little plastic thing which keeps the hat having a nice shape. So I'm just going to pop all my hats in first. I've got that one. I've got this one here from Zara, which is just like your basic kind of straw hat. Has lost its shape a little bit. And then I've got... My giant sun hat from New Look. This has actually seen better days. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit dirty, but I love it. And it's actually too big for my suitcase, so that's good. And then the last hat that I've just got is a little cap. Um, this is from ASOS as well. I've not actually worn it before, but I feel like caps are a good thing to have, and I just thought, I'll just pack one for, you know, just in case. Okay, so next I'm gonna put in some of my beauty products. And um, when I say beauty products, I literally mean just like sun cream. So I have all these little bags from Skinny Dip. They've just got like the Disney characters on. I don't know whether you can see. So this one's Marie uh, Stitch. I've got Timon from The Lion King and Sebastian. They're actually really cute. And I literally just shove all of my beauty stuff in here. So I'm gonna grab the big one and just pop my SPF in. So. My main SPF that I use whenever I go away is the Cooler Body um, SPF. This is in Factor 30, and I feel like because we're in September, it's not as hot, or like the UV rays aren't as strong, so hopefully I'll get away with using Factor 30, and I'll just like apply it quite often. So I've got two of them. So I'm going away for two weeks, so I don't really know how much I need to pack. I thought four would be enough, so I've got this like Bioderma, photoderm bronze so this is just like a nice body oil it makes your skin look unreal and then i've also got this from estoderm institute and estoderm and it's their like adapter sun but this kind of like gives you a nice sheen so if i'm like taking photos or something in a bikini that day i'll probably wear that sun cream just because it looks really nice and then i have a couple of little sun creams so this again is from cooler you guys literally can't even see what i'm doing i feel like i'm so far away so this is just like a little spf and um, i can just shove in a bag 
And then this product here, which is the Murad City Skin, is the best like sun cream product ever. So it's fat to 50, it's like age defense, broad, spe broad spectrum. It's also good for like pollution, so it does like every kind of bad ray that you could get on your face. So this is unreal. It's quite pricey, but it's worth the money and it does last a very long time. So what I was thinking of doing, because it always adds such a like a huge amount onto the weight limit, is buying my shampoo and conditioner whilst I'm at the airport. But I'm gonna pack just a couple of products that like are my go-to. So there's this Coco Loco Color and Damage Defender. This is basically just like a hydrating spray. I've just had my hair bleached um, literally like how many days ago? I think when I filmed this, two three days ago maybe not very long ago so it is obviously very fresh blonde and i want to keep it looking nice and hydrated so this coco loco product is amazing and then i'm just going to take my ghd heat protect spray this is a godsend it's like the best product ever it like protects your hair so much like my hair wouldn't have got to the length that it's got to without that product so i love it and then I'm just going to pack some skincare bits in here because I've actually got quite a bit of room left. So I'm going to pack the Kate Somerville Delicate Soothing Cleanser. So the reason why I packed this and I've actually got the moisturiser is because this is really good for like if you get sunburn or if you get like any kind of like heat rash or something on your face or even like on your body. These products are really good for combating that. They're just really gentle. And I just think after I've like attacked, well, after the sun's like attacked my skin for the day, I feel like I just want to keep it looking like just as natural. I don't want to make it go even more red and like rashy and sore. So I'm going to pack them. And then I've got these two new products from Sand and Sky. So these are their Tasmanian Spring Water Serum and like hydration boost cream i've been using these for a while i really love them i'm about halfway through the serum so i thought i would just like use that up and then the moisturizer is just unreal it just feels really nice on the skin and then just a couple of other products i'm just going to pack a little eye cream this is from gold fadden i've only just started using this so i'm not going to recommend it yet because i don't know whether it's very good one thing i would recommend though is the dr levy matrix mask this is incredible it just leaves your skin feeling amazing so i feel like i'll probably apply this once a week or something when i'm when i'm away i'm sure tommy will probably want to use it as well because it is literally the best mask ever and then I'm going to pack these two oils from Anne Seminin. Um, you literally just like mix them together and they make your skin just smell and feel amazing. So I've got a little bit left in these. I'll probably use these up whilst I'm away. So it means my weight luggage, my weight luggage, my weight allowance won't be so high on the way back, hopefully. Um, don't think I'm going to be able to zip these up. So I'm just going to um, pop them just like on their side and hope that it doesn't fall out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to shove some of the products in another bag because I feel like they will fall everywhere. Okay, there we go. I don't know whether you guys can see this, but I've just popped the bag on top of the river. Hannah, what? Okay, my sister's like screaming downstairs, but I think she's okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, I just shoved the bags on top of the hat to kind of keep the hat as flat as possible. Okay, next I'm just going to shove in all my underwear. I feel like I'm one of those people, like, I pack if I was going to, like, pee myself three times a day. I overpack with pants because you never know, you could get stranded. I mean, I hope I don't. Like, you never know. Um, right, I'm going to move on to my evening outfits now because they're the nicest. So let me just grab them all. Okay, so I've packed a few different evening dresses. I'm not sure Tommy and I will go out every single night just because 14 nights of going out is quite expensive and Santorini is like extortionate, so I've heard. I've been to Mykonos before and I remember the prices in Mykonos and I almost passed out, so I feel like we're going to have to get a few kebabs, takeaways and that. So the first dress that I'm packing is this little like puffy... Um, dress from boohoo this i actually bought just because it was giving me all the ariana vibes i love it um definitely does need a steam i actually i'm gonna bring my steamer with me i need to pack that at some point um just because i hate it when you're on holiday and all your clothes are just creased and some hotels don't have irons and i also like i panic with irons because i've like burnt clothes before i'm not very good at it i studied textiles for gcc and a level and i still can't iron so as you guys can probably see i'm rolling my bits because i feel like rolling saves so much space and again i'm just going to pack these around the hat so that they stay nice and flat um this next dress here i love this so much this is from 
um, oh my god, where's it from? Oh, it's from Sheen, and it's from like the Georgia Toffolo range. I think it's quite new. I think I only got it like last week. Um, again, I just love it so much, and this actually feels really good quality. Like, I'm actually so impressed with Sheen. If you guys haven't watched my Sheen um, video on my main channel, I will link it below or just go over and watch it because it's really good actually. Um, so this next dress is from Zaffle. I've got a pair. Well, I had a pair. Oh, here they are pair of little scissors just to cut off the labels on things um i love this dress i'm not sure whether it's like an evening one or more like a daytime dress but i just love the colors of it it's beautiful just love everything tie-dye right now this dress here is also from sheen but i'm not sure like it's one of those dresses where i think it looks really nice in some lighting and then some other lighting it just looks really shiny and costumey but i'm gonna pack it just because it's so like the colors are beautiful like the pink and the blue um maybe i'll wear it maybe i won't like not 100 percent sure yet but i will pack it regardless Another thing I'm having at the moment is a bit of like a leopard print obsession. So I've got these two dresses. This long one here is from Nasty Girl. I need to put the label, the label, the zip up. Um, and then this dress here is from PLT. I love this so much. I'm just going to cut the label out of this one. Um, it just looks so nice on. I'm really into leopard print, but not like, I don't really like that lighter colour. I really like the fact that these are a little bit more autumnal shade looking, like they're a little bit deeper. Um, so yes, I can't wait to wear these. Like these are going to be so stunning. This next dress I actually wore in Ibiza and I loved it that much that I just think I'm going to wear it to Santorini. I never got a picture in it. Um, so I thought I would bring it with me, try and get a cute little like sunset pick with a purple dress. I also have, I bought these shoes from Boohoo, which are, to be fair, I mean, they're not exactly the same shade, but pretty close. I've got them and I've also got this little purple bag. So I'm thinking maybe we go for like an all purple look. Not sure whether that's going to look a bit too OTT, but I'm going to bring them all just in case because it might look nice together. I haven't actually tried many of these things on, like as an outfit which is what I said I was going to do because then I overpack and I pack for like a month and then yeah it just I and then I use weight allowance when I don't need it but I feel like I'm doing quite well I've basically got like 14 days of each outfit so I've got how many dresses to be fair I feel like I have nearly got 14 dresses but you never know we might end up going out I feel like I don't know what it is I just feel like as soon as the UK obviously announced that we are um, closing, like, we're well, not closing, but we're making people quarantine when they go to these specific islands. Like, I've had hotels that we booked literally say, oh, sorry, we're closing. So it will be interesting to see, like, what restaurants and that are open. Like, I don't know whether many will be. I mean, I hope so, because otherwise we are going to be pretty stuck. Um, this dress that I'm rolling up now is from Misguided. It's just, like, a blazer dress. I don't think I've rolled that very well. Um, so it looks like this. It's got a bit of boning in this bit here. This is one of those dresses where I'm not like 100% sure on it, um, but other people said they really like it. So I think I'm gonna bring it and then just see how I feel on the day. I've got this little velvet black dress from Shopo. This is just a great like little black dress. Just something nice and easy to throw on with like a blazer or something. And then I believe this is the last evening dress that I've packed. Um, this is from Revolve, it's from their Super Down brand. I just love this dress so much. I've worn it a lot recently. It's just beautiful, it looks so nice on. And it's just a nice length. It's kind of like in between a midi and a maxi and it just looks beautiful. So I don't know whether you guys can see now, but I've basically got like all my clothes wrapped like little sausages around my hat. So hopefully these will all like stay there and then the hats will stay looking pristine. I'm gonna move on to some day dresses now. So let me find all of those. So I didn't actually realise this until now, but I feel like I've just got a lot of white outfits. I feel like I'm just going to blend into all the buildings in Santorini. But I love these dresses and I think they're beautiful daytime ones. So this one here is from, I think it's from Pestle and Pup. Um, I love this. This is just like the perfect little summer dress. It's got beautiful lace detailing on it and it's like a midi, yeah, it's more like a midi dress. But it looks really nice with a pair of wedges or even like flats. It's just beautiful. Then I have this little mini dress from Zaffle. I really like this one because it's got the ruching on the side. It actually looks so nice on. Like it's the most flattering dress ever. 
And then this dress is actually a play suit. So it's got like the dress looking fabric over the top, but then underneath it's shorts. I did put this in my Ibiza video as well, but I just never had the chance to wear it. I don't think it's a very like Ibiza dress, but I feel like in Santorini, I could get some wear out of this. This is like that shirt fabric. You know that fabric that just creases really easily. So I'm trying to like leave the skirt bit as unfolded as possible. I mean, it's still quite folded, but I'm going to try and place this flat so that it doesn't require too much steaming when I'm out there and then this other little dress this is from Zaffle and I just love this this dress actually just screams grease to me I think you can wear it either way oh no that is what's the back oh wait no I was showing it the right way so it's a very deep v dress um I'm not gonna lie there's not a lot going on with this dress in terms of fabric because it is very short as well but it looks beautiful on like it is such a stunning dress and i feel like santorini is gonna be the perfect place for this okay moving on to like shorts and skirts i feel like i have got too many but it's fine so this first little skirt is from lovies this is the first time i've ever actually tried lovies i bought these in an extra small and i still think that these are actually going to be a little bit big for me but i really liked the color of this skirt and it actually matches really nicely to this zara like pinky purple bodysuit so i thought maybe i could like wear them and it almost look like they're a cord so i'm actually i'm gonna pack them together so that i remember that that is an outfit that i'm thinking of wearing so I'm also going to pack some more like evening style skirts. So these are just like satin looking midi skirts. I've got a blue one and I've got like this champagne coloured one. This is from New Look. This is from Nasty Girl. The New Look one actually sits so beautifully on. I took this on my Caribbean cruise at the beginning of the year. Just literally just when COVID happened. Like if you want to watch that vlog that's also on my main channel. That was so stressful that trip. So I feel like the skirt needs to go on like... A less stressful holiday and then this nasty girl one I just love the color so I'm gonna try and get some use out of this I mean this is so creased anyway so I'll just roll it up like that and then I've got these little green like sage colored knitted shorts these just have a really nice relaxed fit so I feel like just shoving them on over the top of a bikini will look really nice and these I can't quite remember where they're from. I think they're Princess Polly. No, not Princess Polly. Um, Petal and Pup. I think they're Petal and Pup, actually, which is the same brand as that, like, white frilly dress. And then I'm going to pack this skirt. So this is from Bershka, but I bought it via ASOS. I feel like everyone has this skirt at the moment, and I love it. It's, like, literal school skirt vibes, and I'm just obsessed with it, so I can't wait to wear this. So I'm going to pack this quite flat, because I don't want, like, um... The pleats to get messed up maybe i'll pack that actually in this side of the case there we go so the last midi skirt that i'm going to pack is this one from miss selfridge i'm not 100 sure on this i'm not going to lie i feel like it's one of those where i'm going to have to like put the outfit on and then see how i feel um it's just it's a beautiful skirt i just don't think it's exactly my kind of style i mean it's probably it probably will suit the vibe in santorini so i might get a wear out of it a wear or two but not sure might be a might be keeping that i'm putting that on depot so the next skirt that i am bringing is this little one from zara i love this skirt i've seen so many people wear it but i just can't seem to style it properly i've really struggled with this skirt um some people like pair it and it with like a blazer and a bodysuit and it looks unreal but for me I'm just really struggling, so I'm going to have to, like, work this out when I'm out there. Another little sage number. So this is, like, a little ruched mini skirt. This is from Charcoal Clothing. I love this. I have had so many uses out of this skirt. Like, I would highly recommend this. It just goes with so much. I love it. And it looks really, really cute on. And because you can ruche it, you can have it, like, shorter or a little bit longer. So depending on how comfortable you feel, like, how much of your legs you want out, you can, like, cater to that. So I'm going to pack these long shorts from Misguided. I have a feeling Tommy's going to hate these and my sister hates them, but I really like them, so I'm going to wear them. I think long shorts are really nice. I don't know why people are hating on them because they look really cool. They look really fashionable. Okay, guys, I'm so glad this is on my vlog channel because I do think my nipple pad is just like hanging out in all of those um, clips, so sorry about that. But the... So the next... So the last shorts I'm bringing are from Primark. They're just like a pale blue colour. I do need to find my Revolve shorts. They're just like a normal kind of blue colour, but I don't know where they are. So I'll have to find them and I'll probably like pop them in at some point uh, later today. 
feel really I feel really concerned now about this top. This was not a good top to wear when I'm like crouching over stuff. Okay, moving on to some tops. I have got a lot of tops here, but I'm not gonna lie. So this first one actually has a bit of fake tan on it. I did wear it the other day. This is from Lovies. It's just like a basic crop top. I love it. It has a really nice like ribbed effect on it, so I think it will just go with a lot of things. Then I'm gonna pack this O Poly bodysuit. And the reason why I'm packing this is because I've got like this bright yellow bikini which matches the stitching. I don't know how well you can see it. It's got like bright yellow stitching. And I feel like with this bikini underneath, that will look quite cool as an outfit. So yeah, I mean, I haven't actually tried it on. It might look rubbish, but I'm gonna bring it anyway because I feel like I need to cool up for my outfits a little bit. I feel like I'm getting back to being a bit boring and bland on my Instagram. Not boring, but like, oh, there's just so many people that I look at their photos and I'm like, God, I wish I could dress like that. So that is the plan for that particular outfit. Then I'm gonna pack this PLT bodysuit. This is from the Molly Mae collection. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna wear this um, at the airport, so I'm gonna leave this out actually. Um, and I'm also gonna leave one of these like slinky tops. So these are from Pretty Little Things as well. These come as a two pack, um, but I'm gonna leave the two blue ones out because I don't quite know what I'm gonna wear. And I feel like the blue will look cool because my suitcase is blue. Oh, my sister's calling me. Yeah? Next up we have this little boohoo top. This is very basic. It's very low cut, but I like it. It's a beautiful colour. This is actually one of their like petite tops, which are very small, I'm not gonna lie. Um, then another top I have, I feel like I'm packing a lot of brown, but it's autumn, so like, I feel like I can get away with it. Um, this is from Zaffle. It's just like a halter neck brown crop top. It looks really nice on. Okay, I'm going to start packing in this side of my case now because I feel like I've filled up that. Um, I'm going to pack this top. This is from Carrie's Closet. I have worn this top so much. It just works with like shorts, with skirts. It's beautiful and I just love the long like straps. It's stunning. So the next top is from Lovies. I've never worn it before. Not quite sure how it's going to work because it's got like two strings at the front. I'm assuming you like pull that in and it kind of makes it look ruched. Um, but I love the colour of it, so hopefully I'll get a wear out of it. I feel like in, um, especially in Mykonos, I don't know whether Santorini, I'm assuming, they have these beautiful like pink flowers and I feel like that top is going to go really well with the flowers. I'm then going to pack this little blue um, bodysuit from Zara. Again, mm, right, it's blue. I might actually keep it out just because, you know, airport outfit, but that actually kind of looks like a swimming costume, I feel, so I feel like I could probably i mean i wouldn't wear it in the water but i feel like it would look nice for a photo next up is this little bodysuit that's inside out so this is from revolve it's for it's from their Ma measurel brand i really like this it's a really nice like bodysuit it just kind of works with jeans and shorts and everything then this top here which is from zara not sure whether i'm going to get too hot in this but i just love the fit like i really like the chunky shoulders on this top i think it looks really chic so I might get some use out of it, who knows? If not, it's probably gonna be cold when I get back to the UK, so it can be like my airport outfit top maybe. Next up, I have this little bandana top from Nasty Girl. I plan to wear this with just like black bikini bottoms. I just feel like that would look nice, or even just shorts if I'm just wandering around the town. Then I have this little white top. This is from Zaffle. Um, there's not a lot of fabric going on, but I just love the sleeves. And I actually bought this with like Santorini in mind, because I just think it's beautiful definitely one of those tops i feel like i'd say more daytime but maybe if i'm just like having a day at the hotel because there's a lot of skin showing with this one so this next top is a little bit more covered it's long sleeve again i'm not sure how hot i'm gonna get in it um it's got like a fully open back so i feel like i'll have a bit of a breeze hitting my back but i just really like it this is from uh sheen i think yes yeah, from sheen i just love the zebra pattern i think it looks really cool I then have another white bodysuit. This is from Miss Selfridge. I really like the open back on this. I feel like I'm having such like an open back moment. I'm really liking tops like it. Um, love this. This was literally, it's got the price on it, £15, which I actually think is a really good price. And Miss Selfridge, their stuff goes into the sale quite quick. So this might actually be in the sale now. If you like it, have a little look. And then I'm just packing this little white Zara um, like strappy top i bought this in a size small and it is actually really small i'm not gonna lie so if you are investing in one of these size up like i bought another one the other day and i bought that in a medium and that fits perfectly oh my god i almost forgot to pack my blazers so let's just shove these in god knows where somewhere i feel like this case is getting very full now and i need to put my steamer in there oh my god and my tripod on my camera at some point so uh 
wish me luck oh my god this top's stressing me out <laughs> okay let's try and wrap this round the steamer and let's try and shove the steamer in here god no somewhere maybe oh yeah okay that fits oh that fits quite nicely there thank god for that Okay, so I feel like I've got a little bit of room left in here to pack some shoes. I'm not going to go crazy with the shoes, so I'm just going to pack the purple ones that I mentioned earlier. I then have these mule style ones from Boohoo. They've just got like a puffy little mule bit. I feel like these are cute. I feel like these will go with quite a lot. I'm not sure what the roads are like in, um, in Mykonos. I'm not going to Mykonos. Santorini. Might not be able to wear these just because of the heels, so... We'll probably do a bit of research and then if they're all cobbly, I'm going to take them straight back out of here. I then have a couple more chunky pairs. So I've got these like chunky, more flat white sandals. These are from Boohoo. I love them so much. And then I have these like tortoiseshell ones. These are from Misguided. They're quite high. Um, but I thought these would go with the leopard print dresses that I picked out just because they're quite a similar colour. So I feel like they will complement the dresses nicely. I'm then just going to pack some pyjamas, so I've just got these like little PJs from Primark, these have just got Marie the cat on them. And then I've also got some like silky ones from Boohoo. I've just gone and grabbed my little blue suitcase because I feel like this is actually getting very full now, so probably not going to be able to fit much more in it. So in this case, I'm basically going to dedicate it to all my swimwear, I have been like collecting all my swimwear in this bag over the last few weeks so i feel like i've got a nice little selection of stuff so i'm just going to pack some little like sarong style things this is from pretty little thing it's just like a black um sarong that goes over just a swimming costume it's really good for like when you're having breakfast and that okay so you guys will probably see these all on my instagram anyway so i'm just going to go through them really quick so i've got like a little pink sarong here which i think is lovely I've then got some white shirts. These are very creased, not going to lie. Um, but these are just nice to throw on top of swimwear as well. My God, there's actually so much in here. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna fold it and put it in like fast motion. And hopefully you'll be able to see the swimwear that I am packing. Because I just feel like there's so much going on. Okay, right. That is all swimwear packed. I just shoved a few in there and a few in here i'm just hoping for the best um i've just realized there's a few like straggly bits that i haven't packed yet so one of them is this little star print skirt this is from lovies i also have this like um butterfly print bodysuit not too sure how much wear i'm gonna get out of this but i do quite like it so i think i'm gonna pack it and then just see how it looks i then have a bag of bags um so i'm gonna try and shove a few of these away um i'm gonna pack my chloe bag you guys will probably know what this looks like anyway it's just a chloe nile but i'm just gonna keep it in the um dust bag for now god i forgot the name of it and then i have this little like pouch bag which is from primark actually and i've just shoved that with a couple of other bags i'm gonna try and put that in here because it is quite like it's quite heavy um i can't talk today so i'm gonna see if i can put that in there and i feel like that's quite full now i then have this little blue bag blue bla i then have this little blue bag and then the purple one that i mentioned earlier which i'm going to try and shove on top of here and hope for the best and then i have this white one um and i'm deciding whether to bring this or my jacquemus bag uh, i love this so much but i just don't think i've got enough room for it unless i am um, Unless I switch out and maybe put shoes in here, that could work actually. Maybe, do I do I forfeit the little bubble shoes? I do really like them though. No, I don't think I can. It's just, it's just shove and hope, shove and hope. That sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Right. Okay, that's kind of fitting in there now and then, do I just, do I not bring the two, do I bring the two smaller and not the big pouch? Or do I bring the big pouch and not the two small? Oh gosh, this is a difficult decision. Maybe I just bring the big pouch and maybe not this cream one and I bring these two. I feel like that's going to be the best idea here. Because I'm trying to save a bit of room in this case because I'm going to put like my electricals in there. So like my phone charger my laptop my laptop charger so i need to have like a whole space in this case for that so that's why i'm like stressing so much with this but i feel like we're kind of there i'm gonna zip that up now so i guess other than what i've packed i feel like 
I need to just pack like toothbrush and toiletries and that and my makeup and then I'm pretty much there. You know what? I've probably forgotten something major. This is just like typical me. But my mum's gonna be here later, so she's gonna help me. Um, she she just has like this mental list of things that I need to bring. Normally it's pajamas. I normally always forget pajamas, so I've done that. Um, oh, hair stuff. I need to pack like hair bands and bobbles and scrunchies. But I think, other than that, I'm pretty much there. I do have a few. Oh. Still got a few more bits here, which are just like sarongs and oh my god, what the hell's happened there? Like a few sarongs and another swimwear, another swimming, what was that, a swimsuit. So I'm gonna pack these and then, yeah, I think I am actually pretty much done now. Um, obviously, I said I was gonna give you like tips and tricks, but didn't really happen, did I? I guess the only tip that I have is like rolling stuff and like putting the hats down. Other than that, just shove and hope for the best. That is what we have learned today, guys and girls. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do let me know if you guys are going on any vacations, holidays, staycations over the next few weeks. And yeah, I will see you in my next vlog, which I think is going to be the Santorini one. Oh my God, I can't wait. Bye.